sorry i'm so very sorry i've done this take so many times now um the bottle's almost gone so hello welcome back to this channel oh my gosh in this video we're celebrating we're gonna answer some juicy questions because i got some wine um i've done a lot of takes with this anyways we're gonna go ahead and get juicy very much juicy like always we're gonna go ahead and do like a random little uh i don't even know honestly we're just gonna paint but it's also gonna be a very fun q a so thank you so much for hopping in back onto this channel like always go ahead and get creative with me and get your art supplies get something to eat drink get something to drink or drink eat so let's go ahead and uh get juicy I just broke my, I just broke this. I broke my tripod. I just broke my tripod. What is this? <laughs> I'm procrastinating. Um, another word, uh, per uh, yes. I don't know. Oh, sh it's 3 a.m. I got my questions right here. So. Let's go ahead and answer some juicy questions. Idris Elba or George Clooney? Idris Elba. I don't think there's really a competition. Oh, um, line right there. Oh, oh. Paintbrush got something. Okay. Paintbrush is doing something on its own. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Cute. Oh, maybe not. Big eyeball. If you could be any type of animal, why? Hmm. I guess I would ask, why not? Oof. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna restart, hold on. I don't like this at all. Funniest personal experience. It would have been 2013, actually on a little show called Hub Halloween Bash. It was actually a contest, so it's not actually a show. I actually got to hug Kenan Thompson. If y'all know who Kenan Thompson, Good Burger. I went in for a hug. I think we're on stage. Anyways, I went in for a hug, and like I was covered in blood because I was a zombie for my Halloween costume. And he grips my arm and like moves me away. Not to be dramatic, but like he kind of moves me away so I don't get blood on him, like fake blood. But I thought that was so funny. Like. Oh, Kenan Thompson doesn't want me to like bleed on him, you know? Kenan. <laughs> What's your favorite color combination? It depends on what materials I'm using. I love a good pink and like a mustard for painting. When it comes to oil pastels, I love orange and purple. Eh, I don't like that. What do colors taste like? I feel like the color teal and blue, they taste like coconut and just fresh water and sweet and blueberry. What are some tips to understand color theory? So my rule of thumb is don't try and explain something you can't explain. Always admit when you don't know something. In this case, I'm gonna plead the fifth because I don't know, I really do think it's just practice. So I think you just need to practice with different colors. Um, just kind of go at it. Oh no, I just ruined it. Got a favorite chocolate candy. Yes, I do. It's Almond Joy. Why am I crying? <laughs> I'm thinking about an Almond Joy right now, y'all. Coconut. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. On that note, I'm actually gonna go to bed. So, good night. So, do you just want to pretend with me that yesterday night did not happen? Let's just go ahead and finish this painting. Okay.
Next question. Yes or no, pineapple on pizza. I love me some pineapple on pizza. I actually have not had pizza in such a long time. Is cereal soup? Is this? What? Did I read that right? Uh... If you want it to be soup, I consider a soup to be hot, but I mean, if you want a cereal to be soup, you do you, boo. I'm not gonna tell you no. Soup? So then would oatmeal be soup? These are the questions we need the scientists to answer. My refrigerator is so loud. Ugh. As if. How did you come up with Were You Creative Today? I really don't know. I don't know, honestly. I just felt the need to tell people to get creative, I guess. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person who's come up with something like that. But I don't know, it just stuck with me. I just like doing it and I still do it. Just to kind of get people to like, get motivated and yeah, you know? Some people are in art block all the time, but they just need that little snap, that little, that little kick. Not a question, but you look like you give good hugs. It's cause I'm fat, huh? Well, you'd be right. <laughs> Actually, I don't like hugging people. <laughs> I'm kind of a germaphobe. I don't really hug people like that. I don't even hug family like that. What's your juicy skincare routine? It's just CeraVe moisturizer and CeraVe cleanser. What would your TED talk be about? Honestly, I probably would never host one. <laughs> I would have like the worst anxiety. Oh my gosh, couldn't be me. I feel like mine would be so stupid. It'd probably be something like the controversy of different Pop-Tart flavors and how brown sugar will remain royalty. If it was up to me, that'd be the only flavor. If you could permanently have the face of one of your paintings, which one would it be? It'd be this one right here. Look at the eyelashes, it's so pretty. People said it looked like Rihanna. How many hours a day do you dedicate to art? Honestly, truly, I could paint for like 10 hours consecutively for one day and then the next day not paint at all. So it's, it's very, I need to fix it a little bit because it is getting a little out of hand at this point. I would say I need to dedicate a little bit more time, but I'm just chilling at the moment because I'm trying to figure out some other cool, exciting things. Where do you paint? I'm always stressed with oil because of the strong smell. I actually paint in my dining room. This little setup is actually my dining room. Sadly, I don't have an art studio. My place is very open, so I suggest having an open place. Oil paint itself, in my opinion, doesn't really have that strong of a smell. I am not a pro when it comes to giving advice about oil paint, nor do I think anybody should ever take the safety tips I use because I could be safer. And I will fix my uh, errors. Just be as careful as possible. Oil painting is not as scary as it seems. Also, do not rinse stuff down the drain. Environment, think about it. Would you rather dress up as a clown or a pizza box for a whole year? Well, sweetheart, <laughs> shall we take a visit? Look what I'm wearing right now, capris and a 4XL shirt. I look like a clown 24 seven, so I'd rather do that. Plus I don't go nowhere, <laughs> so very much a clown. What kind of juice is your favorite? Very good question. Pineapple? Pineapple juice used to be my favorite. Ooh, mango. Is lemonade juice? Great. What? Would you rather be naked, surrounded by clothed people, or clothed, surrounded by nudists? I'd rather be clothed surrounded by nudists because the other way around would be scary and a lawsuit. If your art could talk, what would they say? Well, considering my artwork is staring at me 24 hours of the day, they would say some stuff. The tales they would tell. That's probably why I don't sell anything is because maybe in the future, like, someone's gonna make a device and then my paintings could talk. Oh. Oh God, oh, I'm getting anxiety, oh no. What is your favorite color in regards to Teletubbies? I guess when I was a little kid or a little baby or whatever, they used to say that I loved Poe, cause I would say Poe, I guess, I don't know. I would say red in regards to the Teletubbies, but I love a good blue. Do you have a vision board of people you would like to create for? I don't, cause that's a thing? Oh my god, I like that idea. A vision board. Thank you for that uh, suggestion. I would have never guessed to do that. Yeah, no.
Who are you crushing on right now? It's always the same two people that I'm always crushing on is Ryan Reynolds and the dad from Us. He was also in Black Panther. Any naked portraits? I do have some naked portraits. Um, some are not safe for work, so I'll post this one that I made a video on a long time ago, but that's one of my favorite ones. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? Of course I do. Sometimes I feel like I ain't nothing. Sometimes I feel like I'm the most beautiful trash, trash bag, plastic bag. That's kind of me. Are you seeing someone at the moment? Not to be invasive, but you did say juicy questions. I did say juicy questions. I kind of am seeing someone at the moment. No, you're not. No, you're not very much. Nope. No, you're very much not. Mm -mm, no, you're not. Yeah. I'm dating, I'm seeing what's out there. I just wish I could travel and leave this state because it's not good for my mental health. The Midwest is not good for people like me. Would you consider yourself a SpongeBob or Patrick? Um, I'm very much shaped as Patrick, but I, oh, I'm kind of like not the smartest crayon in the toolbox. There is no bad SpongeBob character you can be in. I think I'm gonna block out the background. Is there a kid's movie that scares you? There was one as a kid that like we never put in the v VCR. The Secret of Nim. Oh my gosh, not a kid's movie. No man. Gosh, oh my gosh, it's frightening. Oh, not to mention when she was running across where they kept the rats and she was running across and like they try to capture her and like cut off like a tail or something. I don't know. I haven't seen the movie in so long, but oh my god. Horrifying, but not really that bad, but like it's still scary. What are your top five favorite YouTubers? Okay, so as far as regular YouTubers, I watch a lot of uh, like crazy videos. I guess one of the ones that is like my favorite would be Bailey Sarian. I love Bailey Sarian. Oh my gosh. Shrouded Hand, he does a lot of like the mysterious stuff. Lazy Masquerade because I like his little mysterious videos as well. I watch a lot of like the weird solved mystery type stuff. Weird history. I also love the channels that talk about movies. I watch so many of them. It's hard to pick a favorite. Spooky Astronauts and Possessed by Horror. Possessed by Horror. Those two are one of my favorites that talk about movies. <laughs> Funniest, not funny thing you laugh at? Myself. Mm -hmm. Who was your first cartoon crush? Mm. You remember that movie, Atlantis? You remember the... It was the doctor. Dr. Scratch or something like that? Why no more Instagram lives? Um, it gave me, it started giving me really bad anxiety. I was afraid someone was gonna say something mean all the time. And I just shut down. I really did, and I really want to enjoy it again because I loved doing it. I did it so often last year. I don't know. I probably should get back into it though. Which Disney character would you smash? No question, no hesitation. Are we talking about cartoons or like live action too? Something about Esteban from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody and Irwin. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Not the judging. Not the judging. Irwin and Esteban. Next question. Have you ever painted a lover? I've never painted them, I've drawn them, or drew them before. Drawn? Drew? All of the ones I've had have failed, so I'm glad it was just like a really quick thing. What's the most stupid thing you've ever painted but never posted? I literally have so much art that I would never ever post. It's not a finished drawing, but it was, it's Rudolph. All right, y'all, so here's the tea. I actually filmed this whole entire video a while ago, and I actually was about to just, like, trash it. I did not like this painting at all until just a few days ago. I'm like, you know, I'm going to finish it, see what I like. This is the footage of me finishing it up. As you can see, it's very yellow and kind of, like, mustardy and just not colorful. I was trying to do something with, like, the shadow, as you can see here, making it look like there's light coming from the other side. Here's me doing some glazing. Now, I love doing glazing now. It just brightens 
brightens it up as you can see it just makes it more lifelike in my opinion I just mixed it a little color with some medium you can use whatever medium you want pretty much and it just livened it up a little bit as you can see and then I added like oh and I added some darkness to the hair because it was it lost all of its contrast I feel like there was still something a little missing it wasn't cohesive enough if that makes sense so I added a little bit of uh, design to that other side too I wanted to make it look like a shadow but it's not it's just gonna look like a two-tone background but here it is all done I did not film an outro so unfortunately you just gonna have to hear my voice until the end so i hope you guys enjoyed bye bye okay all right we're done bye